Yo, my people, just a quick note. I am not an astrologer. This is my personal knowledge from being a Pisces and to give another perspective on the most complex, misunderstood and underestimated sign. This is not to glorify or give people evil ideas. It's for self-awareness and a potential warning to others. Not everyone will have the same views and experiences and there's nothing wrong with that. Now let's get to it. The web. Downloading. One thing that isn't a secret to anybody is Pisces are in the possession of a superpower called empathy. Many of Pisces key abilities like healing, adaptability, relatability, compassion, emotional intelligence, sensitivity, gentleness, being trusting and so on all comes from empathy. The textbook definition of empathy is the ability to sense other people's emotions coupled with the ability to imagine what someone else might be thinking or feeling. Now what I want everybody to realise is Pisces does not only use this ability to connect, sympathise and cry with people. It's an option to do that. Pisces also uses it to fully understand what type of people or spirits they are dealing with and what to do with them. Empathy allows Pisces to jump into another person's body, but understand what that means. Everybody has a body and a spirit. A Pisces spirit is the eldest spirit, so it understands all spirits inside people. So using empathy on you is like the Pisces spirit jumping out of its host body and jumping into your body and looking at your spirit, face to face to fully understand what your spirit is going through or what it's about. Think of a Pisces as a waiting spider and our aura and kindness is the web. Many people see this beautiful silky web of niceness and feel compelled to get near to it and marvel at it. And then, they touch it. When someone touches the web, they are now stuck in an interrogation room that feels and looks like you're laying on a beautiful meadow. There's clear skies, bright sun shining down on you, blessing you with all that vitamin D, birds chirping, butterflies flying by. You feel calm and relaxed, at peace with yourself you feel like you're at one of those peaceful retreats overseas somewhere deep in a beautiful countryside. The spider, the Pisces, then appears, dressed in all white, sits down next to you and starts relaxing too. Doesn't say a word. Just gives you a pleasant smile and sits facing outwards towards the meadow. You begin to feel this person, this Pisces aura, and start to feel connected with it. It's so light and welcoming. So you greet the Pisces in fascination. Like for example, Hi, my name's Rebecca. The Pisces responds ever so politely. Hi Rebecca, I'm Pisces, it's nice to meet you. Rebecca's thinking, wow, this person seems so kind and peaceful. Jesus? Jesus, is that you? <laughs> no, I'm playing. But it's like, it's like they are just here for you. They are not talking much. They're ready to listen to you. Finally, someone who has given you a stage to speak. You feel so at ease. What should I tell them first? Rebecca's thinking to herself. This person, Rebecca, has no idea she is on a web, in an interrogation room, and in an imaginary land all at the same time. The Pisces illusion is built for this purpose. From what Rebecca confesses to the Pisces will determine if she is released from that web and interrogation room. If it's good confessions, then she will leave with the promise of the Pisces protection for life. And if it's bad confessions, she may never leave that web and be eaten alive. I know, that sounds dark, doesn't it? But it's what Pisces uses empathy to do. We are here on a mission. So let's get back to the interrogation, I mean conversation, and how the Pisces conducts it without Rebecca even realising. So as Rebecca starts to describe her life, I've got two dogs, a husband, my dad owns a store, etc. The Pisces spider gives her the full stage. They are all heirs. You have the Pisces undivided attention. They're now looking at you peacefully, as if they're mesmerised by you now. All Rebecca sees is someone so interested to hear about her and her story. She's never met anyone so selfless before. She's getting comfortable by the minute and all she sees is this Pisces just attentively listening, not judging her and peacefully looking her in her eyes. Rebecca doesn't realise she is being scanned for malware. Virgos are known for judging everyone and everything and they don't hide it. You can feel and see a Virgo scanning you. Pisces, the opposite sign to Virgo, does the same stuff, just in a hidden way. 
you're being scanned. 70% of communication in this world is non-verbal. There's a TikTok guy that I'm sure you've all seen that got famous from not saying a single word. Kabi Lame. That's a Pisces and that's Pisces energy. The more Rebecca talks, she starts to feel very open, exposed even, but a comfortable exposed. It's strange, but it feels good to her. She feels free. And finally, after talking for so long, she stops for a second to take a breath. She feels refreshed, like she's lighter. She's let out so much information as this Pisces is still just smiling and looking at her, nodding along as she speaks, which makes her feel so accepted and heard. What Rebecca doesn't know, that behind her now stands her soul. A replica of her soul is standing right behind her. She's been downloaded. She now notices Pisces' eyes are kind of offset to her now. It's not directly looking at her anymore. She starts to look over her shoulder to see what they are looking at, but she just sees grass and flowers. And then the Pisces looks back at her, smiles and asks a simple question to get her to start talking again. So, what breed are your dogs and what's their names? What Pisces saw when they looked at Rebecca's soul is, she's a good spirit. She isn't a bad person. She spat in her uncle's drink one time back in high school, but she's good. He was a bumhole to her anyway. So Rebecca's now like, I've been talking so much about myself. I'm sorry, I don't know what got over me. But how about you, Pisces? Tell me a little bit about yourself. The Pisces will talk a little, not revealing much. It won't be long before the Pisces gets Rebecca talking about herself again. Before she even realises, she knows nothing at all about the Pisces. While the Pisces now knows everything about her. Then eventually, the Pisces gets up and says, Hey Rebecca, I need to leave now. But I'm really happy to have met you. I love your stories. Enjoy your stay and I'll see you around. And leaves. Rebecca says goodbye. Feels good and cleansed. Like after a nice massage. Then when she gets up to leave, she's right back at wherever she was before she touched the web. Not knowing when the Pisces left the meadow, they took her replica soul with them. But the Pisces is happy. They've connected with another kind soul, another good person, another good reason to do their job to protect the innocent. Now let's say it's another day, same stuff, this time the Pisces has got Timothy on their web. Pisces downloaded Timothy's soul and they are seeing a man holding an axe smothered in hemoglobin. The next thing the Pisces sees is Timothy digging and burying something. The soul is showing Pisces these actions in like a hologram. Who is this person? The Pisces is thinking. Clearly, Timothy's done something potentially evil, but who is that person? So the Pisces can start to ask intrusive questions without seeming like they're digging. Crossing Timothy's barriers while seeming like they're still on the outside. Pisces could ask something casual like, You got any kids? Or planning to have any? Timothy could respond, Nah, nah no kids. From that stutter and the energy Timothy emits when he says that, from he turns away from having eye contact with the Pisces, all the dots will connect for the Pisces. They now know who that person in the ground is. And you know how? There's now another little spirit standing next to Timothy's. There and then, the Pisces will transform and Timothy will no longer feel relaxed. He will feel fair. If there's one thing to know about them peaceful appearing overseas retreats, in movies, they always end up being some secret cult that leaves all those white robes everyone's wearing smothered in hemoglobin. In other words, with Pisces, what you see is not what it is. The meadows Timothy was lying on is now the ocean, with rough waves. The clear skies has turned to dark stormy clouds. Timothy's stuck. He can't move. He's realised he's on a web now. He's realised he's in a tiny interrogation room. Timothy's met the end of his cycle. It's too late for him to do anything about it. He's staring at a shark's mouth wide open that's the size of the whole interrogation room. There's nowhere else to go but down that shark's throat. This is a true Pisces. The messengers. The terminators of evil. And that's just a light Pisces version. A dark Pisces can keep you in the meadows. Keep the sun shining. Keep you feeling at ease. Until you realise you're stuck to the grass. And the Pisces spider is now eating you alive. Still smiling at you. Still having a heavenly aura. But at the same time. You're stuck to the ground and they are eating you alive. And there's nothing you can do about it. 
Empathy is used for the good and the bad with Pisces. The ability to connect with others is not only to share their pain, but to also cause it. Timothy's soul has been sent to the maker. Their true fate will be decided there. But this shell, this vehicle that that evil spirit was travelling in, in the person named Timothy? Pisces is going to feast on that until there's nothing left of it. A Pisces is the human form of the show How to Catch a Predator. They will wean out bad spirits using illusions and empathy. You'll think you're talking to a potential victim, someone naive and kind, then end up face to face with Chris Hansen's face on the body of the Terminator. Every person a Pisces comes into contact with has touched that web. Pisces has seen your soul. They aren't friends or protecting the image of who you portray to the world. They are connected with the real you behind all of that, your spirit. Also, Pisces can still download you from just being around you, a simplified version of you. You don't always have to touch the web. You can just look at it and the spider, hidden, will be staring right back at you. You can stand far away and look at the web. You may be wise enough to not touch it, but I doubt it. Even a Pisces can fall for another Pisces web. But now is where the Pisces can use telepathy. Through telepathy, the Pisces can pick up your energy and your thoughts on top of looking you in your eyes. This is enough for a Pisces to have a basic picture of you, the real you. We all know spiders have eight eyes, but their vision isn't that strong. That's telepathy to a Pisces. But come into direct contact by touching the web, then we will see every detail of what you are. If there's one thing about a Pisces, it's the dreamy aura. I think out of everything, what will give away a Pisces is if they allow you to look in their eyes. Every Pisces will have a dreamy essence to them, even if it's nightmarish. Nightmares are dreams too. They'll have a dreamy aura in one way or another. The rising sign won't matter. A Pisces rising will just make the dreaminess more prominent, the eyes more watery, the features more softer. When it comes to Pisces, it's always going to be dreamy because it's a transcended spirit operating inside the person. They say the eyes are the windows to the soul. Pisces understands this, so they will scan your soul, pull your soul out of you, look at it, and then potentially put it back. Sammy the Bull, a Mafia Pisces, once said, I just want to meet him, to know who I'm hunting. I'm told he has 50 hits under his belt. He's smart. He's cunning. He's dangerous. I need to know who I'm fighting. I need to look him in the eyes. I need to be with him. These are words from an actual shark's mouth. Virgos dissects and breaks down your human body, studies your shell to precision. They are a very dangerous sign, not only mentally, but physically too. When people think about combat, they only think of Aries, but Virgos will literally snap you in half with their bare hands, if they lean into their physical side. Hand-to-hand -hand combat, that groundwork, Samson in the Bible, that's Virgo energy. They're the hands-on earth sign, the builders of the zodiac. When we talk about going to the gym and building up our muscles over time through daily routines and diets, that's Virgo energy. It's like seeing some brainiac in a suit, but under the suit, they are shredded and trained in martial arts. Don't let their virgin dainty stuff fool you. Don't be naive to any of the mutable signs. Don't sit there and think Geminis are just about lies, Virgos are just about analysing, Sagittarius is just about being a big mouth, Pisces is just about crying. All four signs are potential serial nut jobs. Seriously. So while Virgos are about the human body shell, Pisces is all about what's driving your human body. Yeah, you got a nice smile. Yeah, your voice is beautiful. But who is really behind all of this? A saint or a demon? If a Pisces puts your soul back after exposing it, then they will make a replica of it first to keep with them before putting the original back into you. All while you're talking peacefully on the medal. Your replicated soul will be amongst many, many other replicated souls in the Pisces mental wardrobe and that Pisces will be able to wear your soul like a suit when needed. Options Installing Pisces has a reputation for being chameleons, but I call them leopards. 
blending in anywhere with anyone. Empathy is the base reason for this possibility. As I said, anybody a Pisces meets gets downloaded. Everybody. Pisces is about the collective conscience. Everyone is one, you are we, we are you. Think how much people, day to day, month to month, year to year, marvel at the Pisces web and touch it. The Pisces World Wide Web. Pisces have hundreds, thousands of souls in their closet. So for the Pisces to blend in somewhere or with someone, they simply install the most suitable suit for the scenario. The Pisces imagination, brain, computer is super fast. It doesn't work on the timeline we are used to on Earth. It's the click of a button and then Pisces has transformed. The imagination is everything to a Pisces. It all starts there. Everything man, woman made you see in this world first started in the imagination. The cars you see, the houses, the road designs, the layouts. Everything started in the imagination, the subconscious first. And that's why I say Neptune rules this world we live in, this world of illusions. Albert Einstein once said, Imagination is more important than knowledge, for knowledge is limited, whereas imagination embraces the entire world, stimulating progress, giving birth to evolution. So this is how Pisces survives. Pisces doesn't have armour or weapons like other signs like cancer with the shell and claws or Sagittarius with the bow and arrow. It doesn't need it. It's literally a sorcerer. Yes, Pisces is a fish, a barracuda, a piranha, but that only works when Pisces catches you or takes you to the ocean. So when on land, Pisces has to employ tactics, illusions, and wear different suits to protect itself and others. Spiders, chameleons, wildcats, these are Pisces on land. We're also horses with cones on our head, painted all white, with our hair dyed a rainbow colour to be the magical sweet little unicorns we're stereotyped as. But Pisces downloading you is harmless stuff more times than not. Pisces won't be wearing your suit and you're somewhere else feeling temporarily lost. It's a replica of you. Just remember, you've been scanned. You're good. You're under Pisces protection. That's a person ready to risk it all for you, by your side, whether you know it or not. But imagine, for some reason you turn on the Pisces after they've downloaded you. This is where things get interesting. Karmic mirrors. The karmic mirror is where you will pay for your sins and face your own dark side. Everybody has a dark side. Every sign has a dark side. But every sign is Pisces. So if you don't really know about your dark side, a Pisces will willingly show it to you. Imagine watching someone perform a horrific crime. Then the person turns around and looks at you and they have your exact face. That's what Pisces can do. It will show you of what you are either doing or are capable of. Have you noticed how in this generation, it's always about the other person? Some Libra generation, it's always my ex was this and that. It's always what someone else did to them. There's a lot of projecting and zero self-awareness. Everybody's a narcissist, everybody's this and that. Pisces is a sign that is a listener, an answering phone. A Pisces will listen to you all day. They'll reason with you. They will understand you. But no matter how sad your story, no matter how tragic your experience, a Pisces will also be listening to hear what you also did in this scenario. Are you aware of your own actions? Do you realise your own contributions? Or have any self-awareness? A Pisces will be able to get the full picture from your explanation alone. And I'm not talking about real victims who was minding their business and something tragic happened to them. There's three sides to every story. Your side, their side and the truth. The more you speak only about the other side, makes it easier for Pisces to see every side because your projection is creating a reflection. What you say about others says more about you. So this mirror, your own mouth, is creating right in front of you as you speak. A Pisces can see it and show it to you if you're actually the one who's in the wrong. The world itself has a dark side. Waking up at 6am, hitting the gym, going Starbucks, working 9 to 5 then going home to watch Netflix whilst browsing Instagram is not everybody's reality. 
There's people whose shift starts at 1am. They have no boss. It's just them and the dark side of life that the day workers, the regular society doesn't see unless they are involved in it too. There are whole worlds awake and active when you are sleeping. Actually deep that. Empathy allows you to mentally remove yourself from whatever reality you live and deep another's. These people are getting ready to leave their house when you're putting on your pyjamas, your jammy jams, grabbing your hot cup of cocoa, locking your doors, turning on your night lamp and nestling into bed. Then there's a world where the rich are using their money to do next things to a certain age group. Then there's the dark web. There's so many different worlds and realities in this world alone. What you may fail to realise is, yes Pisces has two fish, one going up and one going down or one going left and one going right. That one that is not in the dream world is in reality and reflecting it and that is not the light fish doing that. The light fish is typically on the sideline. The dark fish is typically dead centre of the field, ready to play ball. This is why Pisces has to balance these two energies. There's no good without bad and vice versa. This is the panoramic view the Pisces has. We are aware of it all because we are connected with everything and everyone. We're a floating spirit experiencing all of this and this world is not the only place we explore. If you don't know about the real dark things on earth, the real reality of what's going on here, a Pisces can show it to you in every way possible. We can absorb and reflect anything. From the moment you think a woken Pisces is delusional, is the moment we know that you has fell for the illusion. Because a delusional Pisces is the equivalent to someone walking down the street with headphones on, playing pussycat dolls at full volume with their eyes closed. Don't ya? Don't ya? Don't ya? Completely in their own world, not aware of nothing until they open their eyes and see all the alligators around them because they mindlessly walked into a swamp. Or hear all these cars honking at them because they are walking on the motorway holding up traffic. I mean this is all hypotheticals, but the Pisces delusion is real. But a Pisces walking down the street with their ears and eyes open is a whole different kettle of fish from the typical. Going up against a Pisces that has used empathy on you, downloaded you, so basically knows you, is like your diary, growing arms and legs and its head is your favourite mirror. Trying to attack the Pisces at that point is like staring in a mirror and hitting yourself repeatedly. You won't be fighting the Pisces, you will be fighting yourself. If you hit the Pisces, then you feel it. Well, what's happened here then? Well, if you've listened in my previous videos, you would have heard me mention what happens when you fall out with a Pisces. It can go a few ways. Pisces can either send you to the shadow realm, which is basically a place where you no longer exist to the Pisces, or they can send you to limbo where you will have a red X on your chest. Pisces loves everybody by default and especially after you pass the web phase. So for you to reach the shadow realm, all you basically have to do is distance yourself from the Pisces. There won't be no hard feelings. Pisces will still love you but from afar now, put you way into the back of their mind. Or they can completely erase you from their mind if you hurt them in some minor way, whilst departing but you're still like a good spirit. Like, say Rebecca's now got a boyfriend. The boyfriend's possessive and made Rebecca cut contacts with the Pisces and others. The Pisces will be like, you don't need to do this. Rebecca, in turn, could then be like, just fuck off. Then blocks the Pisces. It's cool. Pisces will still love Rebecca and understand she's been forced into this and just leave her whilst moving her into the shadow realm. Pisces already knows Rebecca's not a bad person at heart. Her partner though, hmm. I mean, that can go many ways. But say now is someone seriously trying to abuse the Pisces. Try to take them for granted. Try to make the Pisces a target. Then they will be sent into limbo. And then slumped on a seat on the Pisces ship, waiting to be transported to another life. As soon as the Pisces realises you have turned and are trying to attack them, their defences goes up where a Pisces can transform into anything to stop you by any means or they can just throw up the mirror. Each way is as bad as the other and will result in your cycles ending. Cause you'll be seeing you when you're looking at us. Nothing solid, you'll be looking at dust. And more times you will hate what you see, but what you think ain't what it be. 
So when you attempt to launch an attack, it's your soul that be feeling it back. But by then, it's too late to be confused. You're fighting yourself. You will always lose. Have you ever had a dream where you are trying to hit someone and your arm is moving in like slow motion? Like it just can't hit them. Or if you do, it's not hard enough. It's like jelly. That's how you will feel trying to fight a Pisces in this reality after they've downloaded you. If it's a one-off fight, then nobody in this world is immune to a beating, including a Pisces. But do you understand? Your soul has been replicated. Your weak spots has been patched up. Any injuries has been healed. You have been brought to your full strength. Pisces holds this version of you. Try play the Pisces and they will install your strongest self into them and attack you with yourself. Here's a question for the older viewers. Or like viewers over say 25. Do you think if you had a fight with a younger version of yourself. Say 17 year old you versus whatever your age is now. As long as there's roughly a 10 year gap minimum. Which version of yourself do you think will win a fight? Then think of which version of you was or is your mentally strongest version. That sounds like an easy one but sometimes mental strength declines as we age and go through serious situations. Not everyone gets stronger mentally with age. Well, as a Pisces is downloading you, they are taking this all into account. Hmm, okay cool. They were physically at their peak around 22, but mentally at their strongest around 41. Before the divorce, I'll use these two versions of them, two of their files and combine them. Basically, a Pisces will have your strongest version possible on deck to use at will. I know I speak with metaphors and analogies but I want you to deep what I'm saying and why empathy is a very dangerous tool at a Pisces disposal. This is the dark side of empathy you don't hear or read about when researching Pisces but for one reason or another, good or bad, Pisces uses empathy to download you and then install you when needs be. You are a file on a Pisces computer. Delete Clear Cash now remember when I said Pisces will be looking at your soul behind you when you are talking in the meadow. Once you have been to the meadow, once you have touched the web, Pisces is able to remove your soul from your body again at any time they choose to. But this time you will not be in the meadow, you will be at sea. If someone has the ability to download and install files, what do they also have the ability to do with those files? Delete them. The 12th house, the Pisces house, is the place of jails, hospitals, mental asylums, etc. Yeah, mental asylums. What do people act like in mental asylums? Zombies. Lost souls. They are in there because they lost their head. And then on top of that, they are under medication that keeps them in a soulless, zombie-like state. Pisces knows all about this state. That's the state after limbo, where your body has been left behind. All Pisces has the ability to delete your files whilst you are still alive and watch you walk around lost for the rest of your time, or have your soul in a state of paralysis inside your body. The reverse of being paralysed. Imagine you're on the beach, sunbathing, you can't swim, but the sea looks so beautiful, so nice, so tempting you want to enjoy it, and then suddenly, this life jacket appears right next to you, right next to your side, out of nowhere. It's beautiful. It's white with a little unicorn rainbow design on it. It's almost magical. And all your normal senses and curiosities disappears. All you're thinking is, yay, cool. I'll use this to swim out a bit and then turn back. Surely it will be fine. All your logical thoughts disappears. Like, where the hell did this life jacket come from? Then something quiet way down in your subconscious is prompting you, like, yeah, go for a little swim, enjoy the sea. Then you're like, yes, I'll do it. You put the life jacket on, it fits ever so comfortably. Then you swim out, you swim for a bit, then chill in a spot where the sun rays is leaving a bright path on the sea. The sun's heat is beating down on your forehead, it feels great. The sun's heating you up, but the sea's cooling you down. And there's a cool breeze in the air too. After a while, you decide to swim back to the shore. 
But now, the current all of a sudden starts to get stronger, pulling you away from the shore. Clouds covers the sunlight. No matter how hard and fast you are trying to kick and swim, the shore starts to get smaller and smaller as you are being pulled into the middle of the ocean. You're scared, panicking and have basically given up after a few minutes. It's tiring. You're tired. You're letting the current just take you. You're not drowning. You're just floating hopelessly. You're out of control. Then the current slows down and the sun comes back out. It's like everything stopped. So you get a bit of hope again and think, I'm going to swim back to the shore. I have to. I've got this jacket on so I'll stay afloat anyway. I just, I just hope the current stays like this. Then as quick as that life jacket appeared when you was on the beach, is as quick as it disappears. Poof. Poof, poof. Gone. Just like that. You can't swim. You're struggling. You're going down under. The current picks back up. The heat from the sun is now burning. Your head's under the water now. You're just seeing bubbles and darkness. And then... <gasps> you wake up. You're back on the beach. What the hell happened? I was out at the sea. I'm now back here and... I don't feel right. Something's missing. Who am I? This is the type of things a dark Pisces will do to you for fun. Who the hell disguises themselves as a life jacket? As someone's protection just to push them right to the edge. To let them get a glimpse of the real darkness on the other side and then bring them back into this realm with their soul missing. Damaging them with no chance of recovery. Doctors, nurses will not be able to see what is wrong with this person. This is spiritual damage. This is pure evil. It's the darkest of the most possible darkest in this realm. But this world is a dark place. A light Pisces is just here to be the yang to the world's yin. No matter how you look at it, a light Pisces will never do something like that to a good spirit. Even though they are fully capable of doing it. But a dark Pisces will with pleasure. And these are the type of people light Pisces wants to protect itself and good people from. And send these dark Pisces and other bad spirited signs to limbo. To F around and find out land. Empathy is used to connect then protect. Or connect then eject. Store the good files and delete the corrupted ones. Clear the cache so the web functions perfectly. It's an endless cycle. Different Pisces just takes over after another Pisces shift is over on this earth. We're at the final stage. And for those of you who aren't a Pisces, one day in another lifetime, your soul will reach this stage and understand why Pisces are misunderstood. I'll leave you guys with a thought because I know some people will hear these videos and be like, man, Pisces are soft. They're good at fairy tales, telling stories, but they ain't about none of that in reality. This guy's calling Pisces computers and robots. They butterflies, man. Goldfish, man. Float like a butterfly, cry like a Pisces, man. All these descriptions I give Pisces is about the mental, the subconscious and the conscious of the Pisces, the spirit and the brain of a Pisces, the programming of a Pisces. You won't understand unless you're a Pisces because this is code I'm talking. A different language. If everyone else is talking Python, Pisces is talking JavaScript. So yeah, every Pisces can talk that talk if they want to. They've got the ability to talk that talk very easily. We're programmed that way. But when you think Pisces is out of touch with reality, deep this, Pisces rules the feet. Yeah, Pisces rules the feet. The whole zodiac body is on the Pisces. All the 11 signs trickles down into the Pisces. So we like to put our feet up and chill sometimes. And these aren't pretty pedicured feet with the French tips and the hard skin removed all soft and tender to the touch. Nah. Well, they can be. But nah. This is rough gear out of the mud feet. Walking on hot, cold, ashy bunion feet. Shit isn't pretty deep down when dealing with a Pisces. They'll make it look pretty though. You'll want to suck that Pisces on his toes. Ah, babe, sorry I'm late. I got caught in a bit of rush hour. Get your feet out, babe. Been thinking about cuddling them all day. Wait, wait, babe. Why is your toe out again, babe? Look, I deleted her number, alright? I deleted it. 
I ain't looking at other birds' toes anymore, but babe, why is your eyes glowing? Uh, ow! You just beat me arm off, babe! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! But put that all together, and what do you have on Earth? A walking robot with an on and off switch for all the emotions. So keep thinking Pisces only talk that talk until we lock on and show you how we walk that walk. If there's an error, then we're qualified to sort that port. We're Terminators, and I know you never thought that thought. Talk that talk, walk that walk. That's Pisces. Try walking our shoes. Oh, that's right. You can't. You're on the web right now, being downloaded as you watch or listen to this. And that's not the Pisces web. That's an even greater evil. Handing out cookies that you unknowingly eat. I like my cookies with milk. Yeah, well, I like mine with water. Now shut your ass up, put your seatbelts back on and make sure that I was clear. We'll be arriving at our destination shortly.